Hello one and all, it is I once again, Mr. Cinema Junkie, and I am at the Cinemark 16. I'm, I've decided on this hot, hot day to take in some movies, all day movie excursion. Haven't done this in years. I basically go in and buy a ticket for each movie that I want to see, and it'll be about five movies, I'll be here till closing. They're just now opening, so I realize I'm going to be skimming some minutes off of one of the movies, but that's okay. It's like 30 minutes. I'll be missing on one of them. No big deal. So let's see how the day goes. Well, first movie's done. It was uh, A Quiet Place. Um, way better than I thought it was going to be. I, always, I already thought it was going to be okay, but it was way, way better. Um, I usually bury a movie for the overuse of jump scares, but this was well called for. A lot of jump scares, but well placed, well used, and uh, I didn't hate it at all. Um, a lot of movies came to mind as I was watching it though. Like, there are like some elements of Jurassic Park, uh, Pitch Black, um, Little Resident Evil, the creatures kind of reminded me of Resident Evil a little bit. Uh, yeah, things of that nature. Uh, the Descent, you know, creatures who hunt by sound. Um, movie takes place after the fall of man, I guess. These alien type creatures hunt people, but they hunt by sound. And uh, it was very atmospheric loads tons of atmosphere um every jump scare caught me off guard pretty much and and but i enjoyed it so it was fun um but it had one of those endings that's all i'm gonna say one of those kind of like ah <laughs> but uh there was one little boohoo uh sappy boohoo moment but it, it it earned it i give it a pass so, uh, yeah, A Quiet Place, total thumbs up. Scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 8. Next movie is um, Truth or Dare. Let's see how that one goes. Just got finished with Truth or Dare, and I got to tell you, the movie was lame city, man. So predictable. Acting was so hammy. So unbelievable. You didn't even care about the characters. They're just so two-dimensional. It's, it's sad, really. Uh, it is a Blumhouse feature. Uh, my boy Slim Pickens picked that one. He said, is it Blumhouse? I wasn't sure if it was or not, but it is. Um, yeah, it, it, was, it was pretty bad. Reminded me of a Final Destination, like one of the later sequels, without the class or the style. Yeah. Give me any of the sequels from Final Destination over this crap any day. The ending was lame. Everything about it was just lame. I mean, there were more laughs than anything, and it's not supposed to be a funny movie. So, yeah. If I have to give this one a number rating, I give it a two and a half, three, three tops. And that's being very, very generous. So, on to the next one. Blockers. Okay, so just finished up Blockers. And it's a story about uh, some girls going out on prom night. And they make a pact to lose their virginity. So, in essence, these are girls who are probably about 17 years old going on 18. Maybe I'm an old man now, but that kind of humor gets a little awkward for me. <laughs> Uh, I, I used to not be so uptight. Now all of a sudden I feel like I felt weird throughout the movie. Um, the shining star in this movie for me was Ike Barinholtz. I'm trying to remember what other movies I've seen him in. But he was just, I thought his character was really funny. John Cena was okay. He had some pretty laughable parts. There were some laugh out loud moments, but a lot of the stuff for me, it felt a little forced. Let's take these three kids, put them in weird situations, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's been done better. At least I thought so. Um, road Trip, those coming of age movies, they've been done better, in my opinion. 
Uh, but there were some laugh out loud moments. I, I, I did have a good time watching it. Uh, number scale, I'd give it a six. Um, probably nothing I would ever own on, on Blu-ray or DVD, but I wouldn't mind watching it with friends if we rented it at like a red box or something. So there you have it. Um, yeah. Blockers get to six. And, uh, coming up next, I'll be watching Super Troopers 2. Has a lot of, uh, deep meaning for me, actually. I'll explain later. Well, it's that time. I'm going to go see Super Troopers 2. You see that? Um, yeah, like I said, this holds some significance for me. Super Troopers was, like, my best friend Claudia's, one of her favorite movies. She laughed hysterically at some of that stuff in there. And uh, I was happy to be the one to introduce her to that movie. And uh, if she was here now, we would be seeing this together as we speak. So, uh, Claudia, this one's for you, my dear. And uh, I'll let you know what I thought as soon as I come out. All right, well, Super Troopers 2. A lot of the same uh, humor as part one. Um, maybe not as polished. It was crowdfunded. Um, but I liked it. Overall, I liked it. A lot of good laughs. I mean, if you know Broken Lizard, you know what you're getting into. So I'd say, hmm, from a scale of 1 to 10, gets an easy 7. Something I definitely own. Good haha -ha movie. I enjoyed it immensely. Now it's time to get into action point. And that's that. Action point was on point. Typical Johnny Knoxville, Chris Pontius type humor. Everything I expected and more. I actually found myself laughing a little bit more here than at Super Troopers, and I really like Super Troopers too. So, yeah, Action Point was surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. Um, heard all the stories of him getting injured during the shooting of the movie, so it made for some interesting viewing to see some of that stuff go down. Um, but yeah. Johnny Knoxville, Chris Pontius, if you follow Jackass or any of those shows, you know exactly what they're into and what they do. So, not a big mystery there. If you're a fan, you'll like it. If you never really liked them too much, you probably won't be into the movie. But uh, I give that one uh, an 8. Solid 8. So thanks guys for joining me on this. Um, it was fun. Haven't done this in a while. Hope to do it again. Who knows? Soon. Maybe next month. I don't know. So until next time, guys, take it easy, take care, happy viewing, and I'll see you all soon.